my Twitter has Koopa in it. Okay. So maybe All that's right. Why. That's probably why. <laughs> um, but it is Kuga versus John Numbers. Now, why is this such an interesting set? You might ask. You like, well, John is, is playing someone that he is better than, uh, generally speaking, in uh, you know pools, winner semis. Kuga beat John last time. Really? Last time they played at a Zeno, I think it was two weeks ago. Kuga won. So we're gonna see what the result is here. Obviously, Roy, an excellent character, and a character that does very well versus Weaver Trainer. Um, so we're gonna see if John is able to make the ad necessary adaptations. Has already started off pretty strong here. Um, with a bit of a lead, but who will be able to get back to stage with a get up attack? And John Ooh. Numbers already bringing things back into his favor, using that up smash to catch Kuga landing on the small battlefield platform, and already deep breathing, getting things started with a quick 52. Yeah, and you gotta start tech rolling there. You can't allow John to continue to get 50% every time he puts you on the platform. Uh, he can do a lot of damage. You know, the soccer ball will chase you if you tech roll, but you will absolutely not be taking the full header damage. Right. It's already 83% on Kuga just now starting to retaliate. I believe this is the first or first hit of Kuga's second stock right now. But getting John Numbers off stage. Nice use of the platform to dodge that sun salutation, but another fair putting John right back off stage, resetting the situation. Look for maybe a, a ledge trump right there, but just maybe miss the execution and John Numbers getting himself right back to stage where he is comfortable. Yeah, and the thing is with Roy at center stage, you're kind of at risk to dying at any second once you get those high percents. And John is going to go down right there to that quick F, F tilt, trip in F tilt. Um, however, still in an excellent position. Sun Salutation underneath these platforms is tough to approach, and uh, Kuga's finding out the hard way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a risky attack from ledge right there, but Kuga able to get things started right now. I like the use of the side B to kind of extend things. Uh, and a neutral B to reverse his movement. Ooh, and still going to be able to cast that roll even after down airing the soccer ball. I want to say that Kuga mashed there, hit a button, um, and that's going to cost him his stock. Mm -hmm. Nice back air into dash attack right there. John Numbers getting things started right here on Kuga's last stock. Now he's all oh, you stage died? and that's you're getting That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Numbers said, oh, you beat me last time? Okay. Uh, you're going to get struck across the stage. So we got up throw, up air. We had a quick fair. And uh, yeah, Kuga just drifted in. And th this was not the first time that Kuga did not do anything other than just drift back to stage when recovering. John was recognizing that habit and just ended up punishing it right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see right there. Did actually double jump that time around, but again, drifted in and it did cost um, Kuga his stop. All right, new song. Counterpick the song. Where are we going? I love seeing people's music counterpicks, honestly. Oh, we don't know. Oh, just a random, the chaotic. Rolling the dice. And right back to Roy. Again, this is a matchup that is pretty darn good for Roy. And again, Kuga did show that in beating John last time around. But John looking very dominant in that game, number one. Two, one go. Right. Kuga taking it right back to small battlefield. Trying to get things started, but John Numbers ex expertly oh. air dodging away there. Sure we fit, yeah, we fit to make it a back. Yeah. Worried about the two frame more than anything. Okay. Uh, John going for, uh, frankly, a very similar uh, option. Going for that uh, dare to end Roy's stop. Okay, I'll throw. Yeah, Kuga trying to uh, punish that deep breathing, or rather any sort of option after the deep breathing, uh, but John Numbers not biting. Oh, and excellent the spacing. Ooh. The around the back air is S smashed. Again, Roy players obviously do have the tendency to, after they click a button, to click a button. Um, and John took full advantage of that. The back air was in landing lag. Um, uh, Kugel mashed, a mashed another button, and John just spaced out of the way with that S smash. Mm -hmm. right. Some more tricky movement with the soccer ball right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. John is is, is, is reading Kugel super hard. He is uh, really feeling himself right now. Putting Kugel back off stage again, almost getting that down air. Ooh, okay. Uh, not going to be able to start that sun citation up. Okay. Got to be really careful versus Roy in the corner. This is one of the scariest ledge trapping characters in the game. Um, really has the ability to just keep you in the corner for a long amount of time. Wow, an excellent beat by John with the soccer ball right there. Ended up working out. Almost got the double jump. And that dazzle is big enough to make that punish. John going to be able to take the stop. Up tilt not going to be doing it quite yet. Kuga with no rage. John Numbers gets the deep breathing while he's that far up. Nice parry. Not finding too much out of it. And another nice parry, this time by Kuga. 
Okay. This has to be a stock right here for Puga. This is a situation where you really can't afford to take that much more percent. Um, however, John already getting started off with a strong 34. And a back throw, maybe looking to set up a tech situation, but just too high percent for Kuga. Kuga is going to need to really find one of these uh, stray hits right now. And as you can see, he's looking for it. I I'm surprised we actually didn't see a side B right there by Kuga. I feel like the shield pressure was was there. Yeah, but right now, already at that 68% mark, uh, numbers already All right. Ooh, cross up. Ooh, and trying to think. We'll get out of the way with that uh, S-Smash, but ooh, sweet spot up smash. That is one of the strongest up smashes in the game when it's sweet spots. Mm -hmm. uh, and that move is no joke. And that's going to be John with two clean, low percent two stocks. Kind of saying, you beat me last time? Yeah? Coming never back with the adaptation. Again. Never again. Never again, says John Numbers. I think he actually has said that before. Really? He lost <laughs> So, quick story about John Numbers for the folks. Um, for the folks at... Uh, at home is that uh, last week at Waypoint, uh, John Numbers lost to Kamex, which is like, I think, like far less unexpected of an upset, right? right? Um, and after losing to Kamex, uh, someone asked him how. He says, it doesn't matter. And then he said, what happened? And he said, well, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> oh. That's great. <laughs> John John cracks me up. Yeah, I would have loved, loved to have seen a side B there just to take that mm -hmm. stock. It ended up costing uh, Kuga another like extra 20%. You never know. Obviously, though, John was, was kind of on top of his game so well uh, in both those games. Not messing around at all. John on the top of his game today, clearly. And that's going to be that. Uh, moving on. Top 24. And right. I think we're actually moving on to top 24 now, right? I think so. All right. So we are going to actually go into a caster swap.